is Susan Elizabeth Spam, and it has been a while since I have done a video. Um, but I wanted to say that I have had some, some, several positives, as well as some negatives. We're trying to figure out how to deal with the negatives right now, but, um... A lot more positives than negatives. Yay. Um. <laughs> well, okay, so I. I have a. I have a diagnosis of high function in autism. Which, by the way, is not actually an official diagnosis. My. My official diagnosis is just autism spectrum disorder, and it's probably not otherwise specified because of my age. But with the new DSM guidelines coming out soon, I don't know what my diagnosis actually is with it. It's just autism spectrum disorder, which is fine by me. Um, I'm learning a lot about social skills. In my ABA therapy, we were learning behavioral modifications, as well as some social skills that kind of trip me up. I am adding as a regular part of my team a um, counselor who is trained in autisms and ADHDs, and then. Hopefully be adding a speech therapist who might be able to help me better enunciate and not come out sounding like a baby talk. So those are some things that I am working on proactively. Sign language and puppetry have become two critical tools for me for opening my verbal communication more. And um, we're working on some other things because we're having a fight for what I actually need right now and that's not right but anyway but I have had a lot of positives I had a job interview but I didn't get the job but I'm okay I guarantee you I am okay with it it's not necessarily anything on my end they may have already had a better candidate in mind by the time they interviewed me um you know um, who knows? Oh, was, I will, I will be writing a thank you letter though, because they've been encouraged to do that. They said it will stand out more. Um, my friend should be coming back soon. He's been going away two weeks. Um, Japan and Thailand, and so I, I'll be probably screaming for out of joy and leaping for joy when I forget the first text or, or phone call from him after he's back. But I really miss him. Okay. Um. And God's timing. I'm struggling with God's timing on things too. I was supposed to see my oncologist again tomorrow for follow-up, but two things happened. The lab I got sent to to do a vitamin C test, which apparently has to be done at the lab because they have some kind of special equipment that the doctor's office lab doesn't have. Um, the the lab um, didn't get enough blood for the test. So I have to go back to have that. Then the doctor wasn't going to be there. I even though, you know, I don't know what happened. But, um, the doctor is not going to be there, so I had a reschedule for next week. Which means I won't get my results of my IVIG. Well, whether I need IVIG or not. I mean, 
I will get my IgG numbers where they sit now back until next week as opposed to this week. The thing is, um, I kind of have a theory in mind too. My white blood count has been really elevated for the past, well, since 2007. And this is the first time my white blood count came back. Within normal range, so I'm wondering if with the white blood count coming down, if the IgGs or us are gonna come down. Um, that also means that whatever was causing the inflammation to send my markers up, it's no longer causing the same inflammation. Um, which you know is a great thing. But it is also kind of a bit of a concern because it means that I've been getting these infections and my white blood count is dropping rather than going up in response to the infection. So really we don't know if I'm actually fighting the infections at all now, even with antibiotics. And I can't keep being put on antibiotics. Long-term use of antibiotics can actually destroy... Everything in your gut, all the good stuff in there. Um, even with the use of probiotics simultaneously. So, the news we're waiting on is whether we're going to be able to justify to our in, to my insurance the need for having IVIG infusions to help my immune system fight. Um, so... That's something you guys can pray for if you don't mind. Um, praise. Praise. My uncle lives in Pauls Valley, Oklahoma, and his town was not hit by the tornado that hit Moore the other day. Keep praying for the people who live in Moore and who were impacted by that tornado. But praise God for the many lives that were saved through whatever means that they were saved. I guarantee you in the time that I lived in Oklahoma, I didn't see anything like what hit more the other day during that whole time. The tornadoes are getting more and more vicious. Um, you know, that's about it. Thanks.